some of what the leaders of this great state have been saying since the judge's ruling that the bans on same-sex mar same marriage, the uh, Marriage Sanctity Act and so forth, and Alabama's Constitution were unconstitutional by federal law. Some of them said some really stupid stuff. One guy, I can't remember what his position was in our government, but he is one of the state leaders. It said that, you know, he swore to uphold the Constitution of the state of Alabama, which as far as I know, their oath, they swore to uphold both state and federal. Um, and that as far as he was concerned, it would overrule the federal in this instance because the Tenth Amendment gives the states uh, the prerogative to make their own laws uh, in matters such as this. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but the Bill of Rights doesn't stop with the Tenth Amendment, and it only gives states the rights to make laws governing or concerning things not covered in the Federal Bill of Rights. Uh, as being part of the Union, all states are expected to honor and uphold the Federal Constitution, and federal law does override and precede state law. Uh, I mean, if you wish to try to succeed from the union, feel free. I'll be fighting on the union side because um, I'm sickened by the continued bigotry. Um, and it makes no matter whether I support uh, these people's lifestyle whether I agree with it or not, the point is discrimination, uh, equal protection under the law, 14th Amendment. Uh, the 10th Amendment does not override that. It does not give the state to make laws that contravene or contradict federal law. The leader of Alabama's Supreme Court who about 12 years ago was booted out of office because he refused to remove uh, the Ten Commandments from his courthouse, from his court. So he was booted out. Of course, what does Alabama turn around and do? Re-elect him. Uh, and he's now reappointed as the leader of our Supreme Court. He has been writing letters to and recommending to the Probate Association of style state of Alabama to ignore the ruling, to refuse to issue, continue refusing to issue marriage licenses to gay couples, uh, to stick with the Marriage Sanctity Act. Uh, wrote a letter, letter to the governor, who is basically the same mind as him anyway, uh, saying the state did not have to follow federal rulings. Try it if you want to. Try it if you want to. This man has already said that he's not going to uphold federal law. His position is to uphold the law. Uh, if he's not going to do so, he's inciting rebellion. Uh, he needs not just to be booted out of office again, he needs to be arrested for inciting others to go against federal law. Uh, and inciting a rebellion. Not to say rebellion is not necessary in this nation, uh, but not over something as ridiculous as, as trying to stand by your bigotries because of your faith-based initiatives. It sickens me that people can still be this ignorant. We know from science, of course, Probably 90% of people in Alabama think science is a joke and a lie. Uh, of course, they have no problem with the income it brings the states from NASA, Redstone Arsenal, and other uh, scientific-based businesses in Huntsville. Uh, but they don't believe in evolution, which is not a matter of belief. It's a matter of accepting the findings of science, accepting the evidence presented. Uh, it's a matter of recognizing the truth. Uh, but through science, we know that other animals are born homosexual, not just males. Other mammals, um, roughly 10%. So 10% of 
of the human population being homosexual is perfectly natural. It's not unnatural. It's not, therefore, a sin against God. I mean, this was a comment, a few comments, put in the Bible by people who were bigots, uh, who thought that the only purpose for humankind was to continue to procreate. If that's the case, why aren't all religious families huge? Why don't they all have 12, 15 children? It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. And if married couples were not granted any special rights or special considerations or tax breaks or, or anything else, then it possibly wouldn't be as big of a deal. But not all religious sects, not all Christian denominations for that matter, refuse to accept homosexual church members or think that barring them from being married and living as a loving couple is a bad idea. Not all of them think it's a sin. Some of them have recognized the fact that this is a natural occurrence. And if God thought it was such an abomination, why does it keep occurring? Uh, must be part of his plan. It just... And to realize how much, how, or how many of the people I know considered friends, family members, To know how many of them insist on holding on to these bigotries through unreasoned faith rather than seeing reason, reason and being logical and accepting of others doesn't just sadden me, it sickens me. That I was brought up to hold these bigotries sickens me. I was brought up to be a prejudiced bigot, apparently. I'm proud that I overcame that. I'm proud of being an atheist. I am proud that I don't believe in fantasy just because it uh, makes me feel good. Uh, I had a discussion that, with somebody the other day about the Bible because I went to a Bible study that was actually an atheist-based Bible study. It was uh, about the inconsistencies in the Bible, specifically the Torah. And he was saying, well, nobody can interpret it, so it can't be truth because they can't interpret the original works, which I told him I wasn't going to get an argument with him about it. I mean, if we can interpret uh, hieroglyphs, uh, and figure out what they said, then yes, we can figure out a human language. Uh, and you say, not even the experts, not even the scholars, oh no, some of them we can, and there are early translations that we have. Uh, but I wasn't going to argue the point with him. Uh, but he was saying we can't know it to be true because we can't prove it to be true. That's exactly I told him he was singing my song because without evidence, without the ability to prove something true, there was no reason to accept it as truth. And apparently he didn't get the irony in what he was saying uh, as far as accepting truth and going, sticking, you know, if, if what's true is what's important to you, I said, that's why I'm an atheist, because believing in true things is what's important to me, not believing in false things. Uh, and yes, I squeeze my tea bags. Not, you get a little bit bitter, but still good. Uh, yeah. But it's ridiculous. I'm just, I'm so disgusted by the people in this state. I'm disgusted by the people in other states who continue to try to uphold these bans. I'm disgusted by the fact that they're even bothering to take it to the Supreme Court. And I'm truly sickened by the fact that the 
leader of the Supreme Court, Alabama's Supreme Court, not federal, state, would hold these views to the point that he would rather incite rebellion, recommend to all legal officials in this state to ignore the federal ruling and continue supporting the Alabama statutes and the Alabama Constitution. I think we need to make examples of people like this. He's already shown himself to be the bigot that he is. And if you want to hold those bigoted views because of your faith, there's nothing anybody can do about that. But we can demand equal treatment for all under the law. And I don't care if he's sitting, he's sitting there saying, well, the vast majority of people in Alabama voted to put this statute in the Constitution. It doesn't matter. This is not a majority rule nation. It is not a majority rule state. Um, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights of the United States is there strictly to provide and defend and protect the rights of the minority, which is why there's no longer slavery, uh, despite what he would probably wish. So, you, you've got a choice here. You can either accept the federal ruling and show some intelligence and the ability to reason and think and act like a human being, or you can continue to, to hold on to your faith-based bigotries, continue refusing to allow other people to live a lifestyle that won't hurt you in the least won't affect your raising of your children or your family or your church at all. You can continue denying these people the right to have a loved one make medical decisions for them if necessary, someone they love and trust and want to be able to make those decisions for them. You can continue to deny parental rights to these couples. Uh, you can continue to deny them uh, family medical coverage from their spouse or partner's uh, place of employment when family medical coverage is offered to other married couples. You can continue denying them death benefits and be bigots and attempt to secede from the United States of America. Or you can accept federal ruling and become a human being with the rest of us. I know which side of the battle I would be on, that I'm already on. I'm just incensed and sickened by the number of people in this state who are on the other side of the battle.